Good day, kids. How are you? I am Sir Kim, and welcome to our math class. Ang pag-aaralan natin ngayon ay area of irregular figures made up of squares and rectangles. At the end of this lesson, you're expected to find the area of irregular figures made up of squares and rectangles using square centimeters and square meters. And find the area of triangles, parallelograms, and trapezoids using square centimeters and square meters. Bago natin simulan ang bago nating lesson, review muna natin ang formula in finding the area of square. Very good! Area equals side times side. Ano naman ang formula in finding the area of a rectangle? Very good! Area equals length times width. To start with our lesson, let us look at this figure. Itong figure na ito ay isang irregular figure. Paano kaya natin makukuha ang area nito? Unlike sa regular figures na square at rectangle, imumultiply lang natin ang sides o di kaya ang length at width. Dito sa irregular figure ay hindi ganun ang gagawin. Unang step ay hahatiin mo natin ang figure into square o rectangle. Kagaya nito. Nakabuo tayo ng shapes. Rectangle A, Rectangle B, at square C. Ngayon, pwede natin kunin ang area ng bawat figure na nabuo natin. Kuhanin muna natin ang area ng rectangle A. Ano nga ba ulit ang formula ng pagkuha ng area ng rectangle? Area equals length times width. Then, isubstitute lang natin yung given. Length ay 8 centimeters. Ang width naman ay 4 centimeters. Then, i-multiply lang natin. 8 times 4 is equal to 32 square centimeters. Next, rectangle B. Same lang sa process natin kanina. Ang length ay 8 centimeters. Ang width naman ay 4 centimeters. When multiply 8 centimeters and 4 centimeters, we get 32 square centimeters. Ngayon naman ay sa square B. Ang formula ng area ng square ay side times side. So, 4 centimeters times 4 centimeters is equal to 16 square centimeters. Hindi pa doon natatapos. Ang air ng rectangle A ay 32 square centimeters. Rectangle B is 32 square centimeters. At square C is 16 square centimeters. Last and final step, ia-add natin ang area to find the area of the irregular figure. 32 square centimeters plus 32 square centimeters plus 16 square centimeters. Ang area ng irregular figure natin ay 80 square centimeters. Pwede din nating hatiin pa halang, kagaya nito. Same lang din ang makukuha nating area. Nagkaroon tayo ng 2 squares at 1 rectangle. Another example. Paano kaya natin pwede hatiin ito na makakabuo tayo ng rectangle at square? Pwede natin itong hatiin dito sa may right side. Makakabuo tayo ng rectangle A at square B. Pwede natin ngayon kunin ang area ng rectangle at square. Sa rectangle A, ang length nito ay 9 cm at ang width nito ay 5 cm. Kaya naging 5 cm kasi binawasan natin ng 3 cm upang mabuo yung square B. So, 9 cm multiplied by 5 cm is 45 square centimeters. Next naman is a rectangle B. Ang sides niya ay nagme-measure ng 3 cm each. 
Then, i-multiply lang natin yon 3 centimeters times 3 centimeters is equal to 9 square centimeters. Then, final step, i-add lang natin yung nakuha nating area ng rectangle A at square B. 45 square centimeters plus 9 square centimeters. Ang area ng irregular figure ay 54 square centimeters. Now, let's go to the area of a triangle. Ang formula in finding the area of a triangle is base times height divided by 2. Let us look at this example. May right triangle tayo ng sukat ay 9 cm ang base at 6 cm ang height. Ang base ay yung pahalang na line at yung height naman ay yung patayong line. Then substitute lang natin yung given. Base is 9 cm times height 6 cm divided by 2. 9 cm times 6 cm. Very good, 54 square centimeters. Then, divided by 2, the area of this triangle is 27 square centimeters. Next, area of a parallelogram. Ang formula is base times height. For example, itong parallelogram na ito na may base na 12 meters at height na 8 meters. Substitute lang natin. Base is 12 meters times height na 8 meters. 12 times 8 is? The area of this parallelogram is 96 square meters. Last, area of a trapezoid. Formula is open and close parenthesis, base 1 plus base 2 times height divided by 2. Example, itong trapezoid na ito ay may base na 6 centimeters at 8 cm. Ang height niya naman ay 3 cm. Substitute lang ulit natin. Base 1 is 6 cm plus base 2 8 cm times height na 3 cm. 6 cm plus 8 cm is Okay, 14 cm multiplied by the height 3 cm is 42 square centimeters. Then, i-divide lang natin sa 2. 42 square centimeters divided by 2 is 21 square centimeters. Now, you may begin answering the learning tasks. Learning task number 1. Find the area of each irregular figures. Ang gagawin dito ay katulad lang sa nauna nating i-discuss. Learning task number two, find the area of each figures. Use the formula for each of the shapes. Remember, to find the area of an irregular shape made up of squares and rectangles, you must follow this. First one, divide or cut the figures into squares and rectangles. Next, find the area of each squares and rectangles made. Next one, Add the areas of the squares and rectangles made to find the area of the irregular figure. And the last one, express the answer in square centimeter or square meters. Formula in finding the area of a triangle. Base times height divided by 2. Formula in finding the area of a parallelogram. Base times height. Formula in finding the area of a trapezoid. Open and close parenthesis, base 1 plus base 2 times height divided by 2. To assess your learning, answer the following tasks. Learning task 3. Find the area of each figures. And for our final learning task, solve the following word problems. Sana ay naunawaan mo ang lesson natin. See you again next week here in our math class.